What is your name, your company and your country, please? My name is Yuko Pamela and I'm the chair of the IWA Young Water Professional Steering Committee. I'm from Ghana and I work with the, the Ghana Water Company Limited as a water quality assurance officer. Um, my name is Maria Mimani and um, I'm an associate professor of water systems engineering at Anglo Ruskin University in the UK. Okay, uh, Lindsay Selms, Scottish Water, um, and I'm from Scotland. <laughs> What do you expect to get the most out of at this conference? The presentations, the posters, the exhibitions? I think the presentations and the sort of workshop interactive activities. And um, one of the main things that brought me to this um, conference, and I've been waiting for that for years to be here, um, well, apart from the technical aspects, presentations and all of that, was more about meeting people and networking, getting to know about the latest innovations going on. Um, in academia and also in practice by businesses um, and other companies that have got pavilions here and exhibitions here. So it was a, a multi-purpose uh, um, event for me. Um, I came to this Congress with the objective of um, encouraging more young water professionals to participate actively in the initiatives of the IWA. I, I am also looking forward to meeting with other senior professionals that can um, mentor me, guide me through my professional development. And, and uh, finally, to sharpen my public speaking skills and uh, facilitation skills. Okay. And what topic are you most interested to learn about at this Congress? Um, mainly uh, climate change mitigation. Um, the topics that I'm more interested in, that's the reason I uh, signed up for this um, conference, was that my research is very much in these days focused on um, wastewater infrastructure resilience and mainly adaptation from the rules of nature based solutions or sustainable drainage systems, which are very interesting. Um, so I attended a lot of sessions and getting to know about the latest around the world of nature based solutions and sustainable drainage systems. And what do you see as the greatest water challenge in your own country? I think it's uh, the speed at which we need to change uh, um, how we operate our water company, so both in terms of climate adaptation and changing how we uh, deliver capital investment projects to meet the um, meet our like, net zero challenge. Uh, I think it's um, so, so, so policy because I believe um, our policies are not that strong to ensure that um, we attain universal access to clean water and safe sanitation. Um, so I believe most of the things that I'm getting from here is um, how best I can contribute to the processes of strengthening our policies or improving our policies to be able to um, solve the water challenge that we have. And I think one of the greatest uh, challenges that we are facing uh, in the use of sustainable drainage systems for us in the UK mainly goes around um, maintenance and adoption of that. So it was interesting to listen to maybe perhaps how uh, 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 northern countries uh, and getting to know about the latest innovations that have happened, how better they manage the sustainable drainage system in support of, of better operation and management.